Hi friends, Andrea here with another video for Hip Kit Club. Today I'll be making a DIY spring project using the March 2020 hip kits. I'm starting with just putting together a crate that's going to be holding some carrots and a pinwheel and we're also going to be decorating an insert for a traveler's notebook. We're starting with just making sure that all the edges of our crate are okay. My silhouette cameo was giving me a hard time with this super thick cardstock so I had to work on the edges a little bit. Then just adding some double-sided tape and then to add some finishing touches and making it look a little bit more like wood since we decided to go with the pink. I'm using some of the Distress ink on the edges. But as you can see, it's really simple. Um, it's gonna be... I, I decided to go with this project um, just for you to see and get and feel inspired to definitely include the kids in some of the activities and projects uh, that we are doing this these days. This is definitely something that they're going to uh, appreciate and they're going to have a great time just putting them all together. So, okay, <laughs> we are going to work now on the carrots. All we're going to need to put them together is one piece of double-sided tape and that's going to be it. We come here, super thin one and carrots are the base of the carrot is ready and these are great to hold treats, uh, candy, chocolate, whatever you want to put in them and have the kids have fun and you know trying to find What's in them. Now I'm selecting three different uh, three different ribbons, They're, the three of them are green and it, it's going to be to make the bow that's going to close the carrots. Since it's three of them and the holes are not that big, that's why you can see it's. I'm having a hard time <laughs> just trying to make sure they're all they're all okay. Okay, and you can definitely go with a bow, make them look super pretty. A bow with this three ribbons <laughs> was a little bit difficult to work with but we I handled it with making just a knot. I think I've mentioned before uh, whenever I don't add um, whenever I do not use my sewing machine to add some kind of texture to the borders of the projects I like to use my distress Ink, just to cover those white edges that you get with the paper once you cut it, especially with the pattern paper. Okay, so a little bit of double sided tape, foam double, and I'm adding also a little bit of foam double sided tape. So for the second, I'm not showing you in the video how to do the second one. You will see, um, I'll, I will be showing you how I decorated them, but I just wanted to move on with the project, the second carrot. You follow the exact same um, steps. Here we are working now on the pin wheel. And this one gave me a hard time just trying to make sure I got it all together, but on my third try, and that's all you're seeing in the video, <laughs> and it's how to how it looks once it's done. I put a brad on the back of it. I am not sure how people normally do, but I found that to be an easy way to put it together. So here we are now uh, decorating both of the carrots and what I'm using all the Heidi Swap and the Jane Hatfield stickers for both of them. So I have 
circles for both of them and just a different um, different sticker in the middle. I went with a butterfly for one of them and the so fun sticker on the other one. And we're gonna go with the crate we're gonna decorate the crate because yes it is simple we did not add any stitching we did not add any pattern paper to it but there's something missing <laughs> we need to either add a name and here we are now using the Heidi swap stamps mainly the ones with the label and I am on I'm going to use those as part of the decoration on the right side of the crate so trying to see how I want them I do have most I, I think I have already selected most of the elements I want to use on that front part Here is just a matter of, you know, just see what works, how many stickers or how many die cuts you want to use, how many elements you want to incorporate. When it's definitely up, up to you and your, your style. I saw that sun stamp. It's also you, you find that also in the Heidi Swap stamp set, and I just I wanted to add a little bit more yellow orange to that super pink parrot. A little bit of foamy, a little bit of foam here. Okay, you see that banner. Over there, I think it, I think it looked, it looked cute and still not straight, not what I wanted. <laughs> it works now, and since I have purple leaves on one side, let's use purple leaves on this side as well. We are going to select some foam letters and we're going to go with the spring title for this one. Okay, <laughs> okay, so what happened here is, and I, I decided to leave this part so you could see the whole process plus what was the idea. So I'm using the Heidi Swap, the rainbow stamp. And I wanted to, the main, what, what I, I wanted to make was a card. And I wanted to try to um, create or recreate the rainbow uh, pattern paper that we get in the main kit and the paper kit. Uh, but the moment, once I finished with that first layer with the purple one, I knew it was not gonna work. <laughs> I, I just did not like it and I completely changed my mind but said, I'm still planning on using some of these rainbows. Let's just finish the whole thing, see how it looks in the end, and see if I change my mind. So I am a, using embossing powder and the heat gun to create 
the rainbow I selected the color so I went with purple with the light blue and this is a gold that ends up looking like yellow and I was fine with the colors I was fine with the rainbows they just did not look <laughs> good for a card background for me but please keep it in mind if you can make it work for you I think I think it's a great idea especially since the pattern paper itself is so beautiful the idea was to again just try to recreate it it did not work okay so we found um, my daughter has a traveler's notebook and this was one additional insert that she had already there and I said okay I'm gonna work on the cover for that so she can keep it in in her in her notebook in my in my previous video for hip hip club we made a mini album and we also made some travelers notebook insert if you are interested in following the process on how to make them this is just going to be the cover decoration for it okay so here we go I told you we were going to use those rainbows. I'm cutting, we're using three of them. So we're gonna layer two of them and use the third one as a separate element. So we end up using them as die cuts. So they're embossed with the colors that we want. The colors match the pattern paper. And I think they work, they work fine. And here I bring my sewing machine just to work and add a little bit of texture with some white thread to the cover and what we're doing now is adding some double-sided tape to adhere the pattern paper and the cardstock to the insert and this insert she is I believe she is thinking of using it as a diary or just to write down ideas and thoughts I just, I just wanted for her to have something pretty to look at and to open and to feel that she's free to write whatever she wants without forgetting that you know it's not just bad it's not just sad um, thoughts that I want her to want to write also the good things and to remember the nice moments so few okay flowers of course two of them because why not and here we have the rainbows we have the layered ones I believe and we're just placing the rest of the elements uh, around that main the the main die cut here and there and that my friends is is it I hope that this video inspired you to get together with your kids and you know have them help you work on those DIY decorations that you have planned for the rest of the season to have you know some ideas to have a good time together and go visit the hip kit club website all the april kids are ready and shipping they are beautiful Great. and make sure that you are part of the facebook group there is lots of inspiration every single day there are daily projects being posted on the blog the facebook group and here on youtube Please stay safe and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.